Movies are dreams that you never forget. Cinema has been around for centuries, capturing and inspiring the imagination of the audience. And as well as this, cinema has been teaching us new values and new lessons. But what is the history of cinema? And why is it the way it is today? Well, the history of cinema can be separated into seven different eras. The Pioneer Era, the Silent Era, the Talkies, the Golden Era, the Change, Door of the Modern Era, and finally, New Millennium Era. When talking about cinema history, one may ask, who invented cinema? Well, here's the thing, no one invented cinema. In 1891, the Edison Company, founded by Thomas Edison, demonstrated a prototype of the kinetoscope. This enabled one person at a time to view moving pictures. Because of this invention, this caused the Lumiere brothers from France to become the first people to present projected moving images to a paying audience, marking the beginning of the Pioneer Era. Filmmakers started to test this new way of storytelling by creating film roles that were focused on recording news, documentaries, and stage plays. The early 1900s saw the first film of a narration, named A Trip to the Moon, Released in 1902, directed by French director George Méliès, A Trip to the Moon became very popular, and soon, filmmakers would start to copy Méliès and his quote-unquote trick filmography. Important films released during this era are A Trip to the Moon, The Great Train Robbery, and The Man with the Rubber Head. American filmmakers saw what films were being made in Europe, and with that, US filmmakers would begin their own organized production. Due to this, silent movies became very popular in both the US and Europe. The films themselves were starting to become longer, and would include more use of editing, minimal sound effects, and music tracks, as films had no dialogue during this era. Not only this, but films started to put an emphasis on narrative drama, romances, and comedies, some of the silent era's biggest stars would emerge as well, such as the legendary Charlie Chaplin, Buster Keaton, and Laurel and Hardy, just to name a few. Essential films made in this era are The General, Metropolis, Nosferatu, and City Lights. 1927 saw an innovation that would change Hollywood forever, with the Warner Brothers' release of The Jazz Singer, which was the first feature-length movie with sound. This caused more and more movies to add sound to them, where silent films, while still being made, became less and less relevant as the talkies would rise. Because of this change, the movie theatre began to grow. New genres would be created such as horror movies, big stars would appear on the big screen, and expensive and elaborate productions would give birth to the creation of movies that challenged the impossible. However, the Great Depression would hit in the 1930s, causing movie attendance and industry revenue to fall. But this did not stop filmmakers. Films began to explore themes of social realities at the time, but in 1933, a little film called King Kong was released. The movie revolutionized movie special effects by creating a blend of stop motion monster effects with live action footage of actors. Jumping ahead a few years, 1937 would see the creation of the first full length cell animated feature in film history, directed by a man called Walt Disney, named the Snow White and the Seven Dwarfs. Five big studios ruled Hollywood. Europe and India, creating large markets filled with extremely talented filmmakers. But, 
the arrival of World War II would change everything. The occurrence of World War II brought new kinds of movies, much like how the Great Depression brought the arrival of new audiences and new filmmakers. These films would begin to have better production values and available film technology. The Golden Era saw the rise of the science fiction genre. Films such as The Day the Earth Stood Still, The Creature from the Black Lagoon, Tarantula, and so many other movies in this genre would focus on two main concepts, aliens and radioactive monsters. The most famous example of a monster movie in the 50s was Japan's 1954 monster movie, Gojira, or Godzilla. Alongside this, movie stars such as Audrey Hepburn, Humphrey Bogart, among many others, would become a worldwide phenomenon. Directors in this era would have a massive impact on cinema. The legendary and influential Alfred Hitchcock, John Ford, Orson Welles, Akira Kurosawa, and Stanley Kubrick would go down in film history as being among the best and most influential directors, not only of the golden era, but of all time. It is also towards the end of this era that films being released in Hollywood explored more mature themes than what had been seen in previous eras. This caused the formation of the MPAA Association. Essential films released in this era are Citizen Kane, Seven Samurai, Psycho, Godzilla, 2001 A Space Odyssey, Casablanca, and The Wizard of Oz. This era is considered to be a massive change in cinema, as the filmmakers of this era were influenced by the likes of Japanese movies and avant-garde films made in France. The filmmakers wanted their work to add more meaning and depth, rather than having their work as just entertainment. Therefore, they focused on social issues during this time period. Not only this, but the era also witnessed an increase in big budget films, whose target audience were aimed at adults more so than children. It's also this era that introduced the world of cinema to some iconic directors. You may have heard of them before. Steven Spielberg, Martin Scorsese, Brian De Palma, Francis Ford Coppola, and George Lucas. These directors brought us some of, if not the most iconic films of all time. Jaws, Taxi Driver, The Godfather, and many more I haven't mentioned. Jaws in particular changed the Hollywood landscape forever by not only making people scared to go to the water, but by also creating the first blockbuster movie. Other films released in this era were The Wild Bunch, Night of the Living Dead, Rosemary's Baby, and so many more. Thanks to the technological advance of the computer, it was possible to achieve effects that, for the time, were mind-blowing and revolutionary. Because of this, this new technology brought us a little obscure indie film. Directed by George Lucas, Star Wars wowed audiences with its game-changing special effects, inspired by special effects used in Godzilla. In 1982, Steven Spielberg would release E.T. the Extraterrestrial. The success of E.T. would cause studios to shift their focus to profitable movies to attract mass audiences rather than artistic filmmaking. Some essential films released in the 1980s are The Empire Strikes Back, An American Wealth in London, The Thing, Blade Runner, all the Indiana Jones movies, and so many more. As the 90s rolled around, films witnessed new technology never seen before, and were also viewed as taboo on film. Movies in the 90s also paved way to so many innovations that can be seen today. For example, 1995's Toy Story was the first animated movie to be completely CG. No hand-drawn animation in sight of this film. Terminator 2 would become the first movie to use a partially CG character. Spielberg would release two films in the same year, Jurassic Park and the heartbreakingly thought-provoking Schindler's List, the film that won Spielberg his first Oscar for Best Director and Best Picture. Directors such as Quentin Tarantino, Kevin Smith, Robert Rodriguez, and Coen Brothers would find mainstream success with low-budget films. Each of these directors would help shape the identity of 90s cinema. There are so many important films released in the 90s, such as The Shawshank Redemption, Pulp Fiction, The Matrix, Goodfellas, Beauty and the Beast, Reservoir Dogs, The Silence of the Lambs. So, with all the success this era of cinema had, will this trend of hit after hit movie fall to the next era?
It is now the beginning of a new century, and cinema has become a major business worldwide. The introduction of new digital cameras will go on to set the stage for new ways of creativity and telling new stories. As well as this, the superhero genre would dominate the box office. 2019's Avengers Endgame would become the highest grossing film of all time, surpassing Avatar. The 2000s and 2010s saw many legendary films being released, with the likes of The Dark Knight, Inception, Parasite, Whiplash, The Social Network, Call Me By Your Name, Spider-Man Into the Spider-Verse, and so many other films as well. At the start of 2020, the film industry was hit by the COVID-19 pandemic, causing many delays and the industry to shut down. However, the industry was able to bounce back. 2022 would see so many successful films being made. For example, The Batman, Top Gun Maverick, RRR, The Banshees of Inisherin, Nope, Elvis, and the incredible and multi-Oscar winning Everything Everywhere All At Once. Today, cinema is alive more than ever, as trends and memes would help promotion of films more than a normal advert. In recent examples, the Barbenheimer trend, where two completely different films, Barbie and Oppenheimer, were released on the same day as each other, this formed many memes and would keep the cinema seats filled and attendance high. Cinema is really important to me, and so many others. Not only is it a form of amusement and entertainment, but is also teaching us new moral values and connecting different cultures from around the world. And that is why I think cinema is really important. That's a wrap.